Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about how the New Orleans Pelicans managed to lose Anthony Davis. Now, as a Pelicans fan, this really does hurt, and I'm actually wearing an Anthony Davis jersey as I make this video. So, yeah, it does kind of hurt pretty bad, but I mean, it doesn't really at the same time, because, like, yeah, and I'm beginning to a lot of reasons. Now, I'm not be going into where he's going to get traded to because there's like 5 million videos on that. And I just think this is more interesting to go how we managed to lose him, go through the history and everything. And I think you actually be surprised because you might think, oh, horrible decision making, like just awful management, which is not is the case a little bit, but isn't the case at the same time. I'm beginning into all that in this video. So without further ado, without rumming on too much, let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing I'm beginning into for this video is going to be really their poor decision making that they've made. Now, they haven't had awful decision making. They've overpaid a few people like I don't know giving Omer Hashik a five-year 60 million dollar deal but when you look at it he had a decent um year with us with his first year with the Pelicans now he traded too much to get him I'll give him the I'll give you that when we traded for him for the Rockets we gave up way too much for him but I mean we, we, the year that he had with us he was an all right player and at the time the salary cap was so high that everybody was giving out horrible contracts to pretty mediocre players and five or six million seems like a lot but i mean at the time how high the salary cap was it really wasn't that bad but with how the nba like evolved and changed around a, a traditional center like omir Rashik, it just really didn't end very well at all for him and that really did hurt him a lot and then also signing alexis agents the same thing happened the salary cap spiked we gave him a four-year 20 million dollar deal obviously didn't work out agents is out of the league currently and so is Ashik. and they're two just not very good players and then he played are currently on the team that I completely hate and there's no excuse for the reason we signed him Solomon Hill he's on a four-year 48 million dollar a year contract and I mean that really does hurt your team when you have so many bad contracts and sign so many people to bad contracts that it affects your ability to really go out and get free agents and and uh, help out your bench stuff overall and that's a big reason why we've been struggling def wise and bench wise because of these bad contracts and i, I probably we probably are going to end up getting rid of Solomon hill in a trade with anthony davis which i'll be ecstatic about because he's not a good player at all he's just not good and he's on a very big contract which i really don't like i mean Solomon hill you know he's here he's whatever i hate him and i mean pretty much those are really the only horrible decisions that they made is really overpaying people they didn't make any bad decisions really when you look at trading they didn't give up big things to trade now if you look at it in hindsight yeah there's some things that like you could be like all right that's a horrible trade why would you do that but you can't really say that because hindsight is 2020 and at the time when they made the things they really did look good like when they traded for tyreek evans tyreek evans i'm pretty sure was rookie of the year when we traded for him and i think we gave up a pick two picks for him and velasquez so i mean that's not bad at all i mean tyreek evans was actually a very good player when he wasn't injured for about 80 years i'll be getting that later drew holiday he's still a very good player and i love that trade still i really i would do it again if i was the pelicans and you know that's really the only real trades that we made getting eric gordon we traded for him and the chris paul trade and if eric gordon the year before we traded for him he was averaging 22 points a game so, I mean, it was a good trade until he decided I'm going to just get injured every single game when I come back. And I'm going to play like 15 games a year for the Pelicans. He had two years with the Pelicans where he really did play good. But the rest of his career with the Pelicans, he was completely injured and really just derailed his entire career. So that hurt a lot. But I'm be getting to all that being unlucky a little bit later in this video. Now, my next reason is going to be keeping Alvin Gentry. Alvin Gentry was hired in 2015 where they have only made the playoffs one time since he has been the coach and their defense has always been awful despite having good defensive talent on the team you have two all defensive first teams in anthony davis and andrew holiday each one more is a decent defender drew this year julius reynolds is a decent defender and their defense has been absolutely atrocious it has been awful ever since we got out of gentry has been awful and we fired marvin williams the year he made the playoffs which i didn't understand either but i mean so i would Gentry I gave him a chance and I really don't like him as a coach he makes some questionable decisions and it's just like why the hell are you doing that he'll play people when they shouldn't be played and it's just really confusing and he, you can tell he falls in love with players that you probably shouldn't be falling in love with and putting them on the court so he struggles with that as well I mean and he's actually doing it right now with someone named Kimmerich Williams he's a decent player he could probably come off your bench and still about 10-15 minutes a game but he's currently getting like 30 minutes but that's also due to injuries a little bit but I don't think that he should be a starter on our team by any means so I'm I 
mean, yeah, really, just Alvin Gentry isn't that good. So, really, the only big mistakes they've really made since they've gotten Anthony Davis on the team in the seven-year stretch is overpaying for Omir Oshik, o- overpaying for Solomon Hill and Alexis Agensa, and, in my opinion, keeping Alvin Gentry, but that's also a debatable one. So, they've really only made three huge, huge um, mistakes. Not huge, but pretty big mistakes when having Anthony Davis. And they really had to get Omir Oshik because Anthony Davis was complaining how he never wants to play center and he only wanted to play power forward. So, I mean, that was an, he kind of put the Pelicans in a weird spot there as well. Now, I'm not going to put that on Anthony Davis. I'm going to put that on the Pelicans. But now, the biggest reason, and if you've been a Pelicans fan for at least the last seven years since we got Anthony Davis, you will know how horrible injuries have been for us. Omir Oshik, even despite him not being a good player, was still injured almost every game of the ever since we got him. Alexis Jensa injured all the time as well. This year has probably been one of the worst, but Tyreek Evans was injured when we had him. Eric Gordon was injured when we had him. And for a long time, Drew Holiday was very injury prone. And also Anthony Davis will be getting some bad injuries as well. And a lot of people are looking at the Cousins trade saying we lost it. But if Cousins doesn't end up tearing his fucking Achilles, we have a very chance to be good. I mean, just look at it. They risked it all, pretty much all to get to Marcus Cousins. They finally paired Anthony Davis with another superstar, and they risked it all. They gave up an early lottery pick in Buddy Heald. They gave up their next year's first round pick and second picks, and a big piece of their core at the time, which was Tyreek Evans, for the Marcus Cousins. But due to an Achilles injury, it literally forced him to miss the entire time, and the Pels did not want to like put their future into a player that's coming back from Achilles injury. And it's shown people with Achilles injuries, they do struggle to come back into the league, especially big guys like the Marcus Cousins so I mean it's not that big of a deal that he didn't get it but it really just sucks that if he doesn't get injured we probably re-sign him we most likely re-sign DeMarcus Cousins Anthony Davis still has a superstar to play with but I mean also they have Drew Holiday who's playing at an all-star level Nikola Mirotic who's a beast off the bench Julius Randle who's been playing at an all-star level we just have so many pieces right now that would be so good if DeMarcus Cousins would have stayed and we probably would be a legit top five in the west right now if it wasn't due to just how bad of luck we've really gotten but even if you do look at this year, this year long, say, okay, DeMarcus Cousins was last year, but now you look at this year, the year that Anthony Davis has requested a trade and probably the biggest year we would have been a playoff team, he most likely wouldn't have requested a trade from us or he probably wouldn't have made it as public as it is. But this year, this is what has happened. To the, This is the starters alone. They have been, if you were a starter on this team, you literally like got killed with injuries. It was crazy. As the starters have played a staggering up to this point, nine games together, and in those nine games, there are six and three. So they are good when their starters are healthy. But due to how many injuries they get, they can't get in rhythm. They can't get good players on the court. And, I mean, it is hurting them a ton. As the only, they have five of their top six scorers on the entire team is injured. Anthony Davis, Etwan Moore, Nikola Mirotic, Julius Randle, who just came back last night and we won. And he put up 30 points. The dude's a beast. And then, who else? Julius, AD, and then Drew's out there. So, I mean, it does hurt a lot when how that many people are injured. And they've been injured all year. It's not like this just happened. And Alfred Payton's injured. So, that doesn't help at all either so I mean when your starting point guard is out to go along with everybody else on your starting five but your shooting guard and your six man off the bench is injured you're not gonna you're gonna struggle to win games so really if you chalk it up to how they lost Anthony Davis it is purely almost unluckiness because those three mistakes in a seven year span isn't that bad when you compare it to some organizations but then you just look at what the Pelicans how unlucky they've gotten with injuries I mean that hurts a ton, and I really just think you can chalk it up to injuries. Is why a big reason why we lost Anthony Davis. But I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you think they lost Anthony Davis due to injuries, or do you think they made some mistakes farther down the line that I missed? I want to hear all your comments in the section below. Why do you think Anthony Davis is leaving? Where do you think he's going to be traded? I want to hear all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And if you did like the video, you play the like button and subscribe button. That would mean the absolute world to me. And also, I cannot thank y'all enough for all the support y'all have been showing. But I also have to give all praise to God. He's the reason I'm here. He's blessed me in the position to make these videos. He's bless me to keep the drive going to make these videos almost every single day for you guys and i just love making them as well and i love spreading his name through his videos while making them and giving you the news as well and we did just trade for markeith morris like a couple minutes ago so i mean if you want to see a video on that comment down below as well but like i said if you did like the video point hit like button and subscribe button it would mean the word to me and i hope you have a blessed day could i have a blessed day so you need to have a blessed day see you in tomorrow's video goodbye boo blah, blah, blah.